and they're just laughing and smiling about something. It was worth every penny to have such a rainbow of flavors in my mouth. Boop! <laughs> Fly out when they go around the corner. Hello! In this lesson, we're going to talk about the idiom, an arm and a leg. We'll also see a picture, and together we're going to create a conversation. Guess what? We're also going to talk about the following words and phrases. To charge, piece of junk, roller coaster, sardine flavored ice cream, worth every penny, and rainbow of flavors. Great, this should be an absolutely fabulous lesson. Okay, the first thing we need to do is talk about the idiom, an arm and a leg. What does it mean? I'm glad you asked. An arm and a leg is when something is very expensive. Not just a little expensive, but very expensive. The idea is that, the joke is that you have to, you know, give your arm or your leg to get whatever you're trying to purchase. Something costs a lot of money. Right. Okay, here's an example. Our neighbor is selling his car. He's charging an arm and a leg. I'm surprised because it's a piece of junk. So our neighbor has a car and he must love this car because he doesn't want to sell it for cheap. He wants to sell it for an arm and a leg. He's charging an arm and a leg. Ooh, the word charging. He's charging. It's a verb here. It's an action. Let's figure out, let's talk about what it means. So the verb is to charge, right? What it means is someone or a person is asking for a certain amount of money. So maybe, oh, in the example, our neighbor is asking for a certain amount of money. And he's asking for an arm and a leg, so it's probably a very high amount of money. <laughs> of money, right? Okay, so let's see here. In this top picture, we have two laptops, and we have an arm stretching out of the laptop, an arm stretching out of the laptop. This arm is, this hand is holding a bag, maybe from shopping or a store, and this one has a hundred dollar bill. So they're exchanging value, right? This person wants what's in the bag, and this person wants the money. So it's capitalism at its finest, right? They're exchanging value for value. And it's voluntary. No one's forcing them to do it. Wonderful. In this picture, we can see a guy's back pocket. I'm going to guess it's a guy because guys usually, or it's very often for guys to carry wallets. I haven't seen women very often carry wallets like this. So his wallet is pretty thick, <laughs> right? So if he sits down, he might be sitting like this because it's so thick in his back pocket. Credit cards, probably cash, maybe pictures of his family, all in his leather wallet. Over here we just have pictures of credit cards, Visa, maybe MasterCard, right? So when you pay for something, you can someone charges you an amount of money, you pay for it with your credit card, or you pull out your wallet, right? So to charge, right? The verb to charge. So the neighbor is charging an arm and a leg. He's charging a really high price. But we're surprised. I'm surprised because it's actually a piece of junk. So what is a piece of junk? Here we go. So a piece of junk is, let's see, do it the quicker way here. A piece of junk is a low quality item, right? It's something with poor quality that won't last very long. Or it's something that's very old and unused. No one uses it anymore. It's just in bad condition. No one wants it. So if we start over here, this is an old truck, right? It's rusted. It's broken. Uh, it's just sitting there. No one probably has used it for a long time. So if you wanted to charge a, a large amount of money for it, you will be like, eh, it's a piece of junk. I don't really want it. 
Uh, here we have junk that's maybe in a garage or a storage place. Pictures, uh, a mirror, a picture frame. It's like there's some sort of tripod, uh, an old baby carriage, some clothing. It's a black and white picture. And people might say, well, it's just junk, you know, we need to throw it away, we need to get it out. And here's another truck. In the windshield on this one, looks like people had, there are bullet holes. Someone had shot and it shot the truck and made bullet holes in the glass. They also spray painted the side with Route 66, RT 66. Over here, this is some, you could say, junk that's sitting outside. It's like it's a, is that an old stove? Or something that used to be in the kitchen you have pots and pans and different things all around and people might say it's you know it's junk it's nothing that anybody really wants it's low quality or it's poor quality or it's just really old and unused so our neighbor has a car which is a piece of junk but he's charging he's trying to get an arm and a leg he wants a lot of money for his piece of junk car okay all right time to move on to our conversation Woo! we have a picture let's talk about it yes yes okay this looks like a nice picture right we have Lily and we have Pete and they are laughing <laughs> they're probably sharing a joke or something's funny and made them laugh I guess so let's start with Lily will describe her. I would say she's Asian, right? Uh, Chinese or Korean maybe? I'm not quite sure, but East Asian for sure. She has dark brown hair. Um, she has an earring in her right ear. She has a white sweater on, long sleeve white sweater and blue, dark blue jeans, dark blue pants or dark blue jeans on. And she is smiling. We can see the top section of her teeth. She's smiling ah, and laughing, having a great time. Pete is, I would say, white or Caucasian. He has dark brown hair as well, and it's much shorter than Lily's. He is looking down. His eyes are closed. Ah! It's just something is so funny that he is laughing, right? He has a long sleeve white or gray t-shirt on. He also has blue jeans, or you could say dark blue pants. He has a ring on his left ring finger. And he's, Lily and Pete are sitting quite close to each other. It looks like their shoulders might actually be touching each other. We talk about the environment, where they are. It looks like they're sitting outside, uh, maybe near a field with some long grass. And I would say it's, it could be towards evening or maybe early in the day. I don't think the sun is directly overhead because maybe there's some shadows, right? Okay, so if I summarize this picture, I would say there is a couple, or a, a group, a couple of friends, they're sitting outside, one's a male, one's a female, and they're just laughing and smiling about something. Okay, all right. We need to see what they're actually talking about. And Lily is going to start this conversation. She says, whoa. That lady paid an arm and a leg to ride the roller coaster. Pete, I can't believe the guy talked her into paying $1,000 for a three minute ride. Lily, I remember once you once paid an arm and and a leg for sardine flavored ice cream pete it was worth every penny to have such a rainbow of flavors in my mouth mmm right so today we're our focus is an arm and a leg. Let's make an arm and a leg bold wherever it is in the conversation. Okay, Lily also says it, an arm and a leg. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna repeat the conversation at regular speed. Lily, whoa, that lady paid an arm and a leg to ride the roller coaster. 
Heat. I can't believe the guy talked her into paying $1,000 for a three-minute ride. Lily. I remember you once paid an arm and a leg for sardine-flavored ice cream. Pete. It was worth every penny to have such a rainbow of flavors in my mouth. Okay. So, seems like they're laughing and joking and kind of making fun of another lady. The lady who paid an arm and a leg to ride the roller coaster. Ooh, what is a roller coaster? I think we should find out. Okay, so this is a roller coaster. And if we want an actual definition of roller coaster, here is the definition. All right. An attraction that consists of a light railroad track with many tight turns and steep slopes on which people ride in small, fast, open cars. Okay. So an attraction is something that people want to see, right? You be like, oh, it's a circus. Oh, it's an attraction. Something you want to watch. Something you will pay money for to participate in or watch. Okay. A light railroad track would just be the track right here that the uh, the roller coaster runs on, right? And there are many tight turns, so it turns quickly, right? It's not like a slow turn. It's quickly, it's kind of exciting, right? And steep slopes. Steep slopes mean it goes up like this very quickly or down like this really quickly. The slope could be going up or could be going down. And on which people ride in small, fast, open cars. And it's not like a car you drive on the street, but it's like a little mini car that goes on the track, right? And it's open because there's nothing covering it, right? Okay, so these are different roller coasters. Uh, this one right here is going down a steep slope, and they're probably going very fast. And the people are like, yeah, great, I love it. Okay, and these people over here, they're going around a curve. Uh, this roller coaster is a little bit different. They have a big harness. The thing that's coming over their shoulder that keeps them in the seat so they don't boop, <laughs> fly out when they go around the corner. So this is the harness that keeps them bolted so they stay in the seat. <clears throat> and these are just some roller coasters down here from a little bit farther away, right? So we can see what a roller coaster is. Okay, back to the conversation. All right, so Pete says, I can't believe the guy talked her into paying $1,000 for a three minute ride. If the guy talked her into something, he convinced her. He made her believe that it was worth it to pay $1,000 for a three minute roller coaster ride. Okay. And Lily, she says, well, I remember you once paid an arm and a leg. You paid a lot of money for sardine flavored ice cream. What do you say we check out what sardine flavored ice cream would be? Okay, so the idea is pretty simple. It's just ice cream which tastes like sardines. And what are sardines? These are sardines. They're little fish, right? And people like to eat them. Uh, sometimes I've had sardines before where they're like, they're salted or they, they put them in a special sauce, tomato sauce, maybe mustard sauce, stuff like that. I think they're pretty good. Um, so this is ice cream. There are three different flavors here. Maybe, I don't know, mango, strawberry, and pistachio, something like that. This would probably be chocolate ice cream. So this maybe, <laughs> maybe would be what sardine flavored ice cream would look like. You have the cone, this part right here. You have the ice cream on top, the scoop of ice cream. Then you have some sardines sticking out of it. And is this a real thing? I don't think so. <laughs> I've never had sardine flavored ice cream and I would not really like to. Uh, it's more of a joke and I think it would be a strange sensation. Okay, so this would be what sardine flavored ice cream is. Ice cream which tastes like sardines. Okay, back to the conversation. Okay, so Lily said, you know, I remember you paid a lot of money for, sar for sardine flavored ice cream. Pete says, it was worth every penny. What does this phrase mean? All right. So worth every penny. 
So first, we have a penny. A penny is just a coin from the United States money, and it's worth one cent, right? So one dollar is worth 100 pennies, right? One, one dollar is 100 cents, so you could have 100 pennies, and it would be one US dollar. In this picture, someone has problem, probably been saving their pennies, and they dumped them out on the table, and they're looking at them, right? And so let's get back to the phrase, worth every penny means someone is very content to pay a certain price to get the item they want, right? So if you say something is worth every penny, you're glad to pay the money because you wanted to get what you, what you bought. So in the conversation, Pete said it was worth every penny to have a rainbow of flavors in his mouth. And he's worth every penny for him to get the sardine flavored ice cream. So someone is very content. They're happy. They're so happy to buy whatever they did. They're happy to trade the money and get what they purchased. But this, this lady's jumping up. Hooray! I got my sardine flavored ice cream. Right. <laughs> okay. So worth every penny just means I think it was a good idea to, to buy that, to trade my money and get that object or that ice cream or that thing okay the conversation Pete it was worth every penny to have such a rainbow of flavors in my mouth so rainbow of flavors let's see what rainbow of flavors means okay so a rainbow is this you know you see in the sky after it rains or the clouds are just right and there's a rainbow of all the colors right and flavors are different tastes this might be a lime taste, I don't know, uh, Coca-Cola or cola taste, maybe an orange flavor, and maybe strawberry or apple flavor, right? So a rainbow of flavors. And if someone says a rainbow of flavors in their mouth, then they would say, it would mean wonderful, lovely tastes in my mouth. So Pete really likes the sardine flavored ice cream, this stuff, right? And for him, when he eats it, oh, it's like a rainbow of flavors in my mouth. And it might not be these flavors, but it's just a great taste that he really likes. And if someone says a rainbow of flavors, they're trying to embellish. They're trying to make something sound maybe even better than it actually is. They're trying to make it sound more exciting. Okay? All right. Okay, so I'm going to do the conversation one more time, regular speed. Here we go. Lily, whoa, that lady paid an arm and a leg to ride the roller coaster. Pete, I can't believe the guy talked her into paying $1,000 for a three-minute ride. Lily, I remember you once paid an arm and a leg for sardine-flavored ice cream. Pete, it was worth every penny to have such a rainbow of flavors in my mouth. Okay, so an arm and a leg was the idiom that we used in this lesson. And if you pay $1,000 for a three minute ride on a roller coaster, that's a perfect situation to say an arm and a leg because you probably paid way too much. And if he had to pay an arm and a leg for sardine flavored ice cream, maybe it's very rare. And only a, a few people want it, but they really want it badly. And so they're willing to pay a lot of money. An arm and a leg. <laughs> okay. So in this lesson, we use the idiom an arm and a leg and a picture to create a conversation. And we also talked about different vocabulary and phrases to charge. Piece of junk. Roller coaster. Sardine flavored ice cream. <laughs> Worth every penny and rainbow of flavors. Okay, I had a wonderful time teaching this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it too. Remember, master your idioms, master your English. See you soon.